Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Ballet at Brand. So I've got another Sci-Viving Hexagon video. And once again, a lot of these videos, they just come to me. They're things that I think are relevant and that I think that people can grow from. So in this video, what I want to talk about is what would you do? How would you act if you had all of your time back, right? If you didn't have to work for someone else, if you didn't have to sacrifice your time for money. Now, the reason that I'm asking that is because I retired at 24 one year ago. And I find myself sometimes doing the same thing that I was doing before I retired or, you know, spending time on social media and consuming instead of spending my time maybe a little bit more uh, valuably or spending my time on something more productive. Now, I get that we are all human and I get that, you know, you can't expect someone to work, you know, constantly 24 seven, but I see a lot of people in the same community that I'm in, you know, the hex.com community, the SciVive community, and a lot of us due to an amazing product have, uh, you know, we've been thankful enough to have our time back and to be able to retire literally off of the interest alone, never even selling the principal. And what I'm getting at is, I see so many people, you know, some of my friends and, and myself included, right? I have to be speaking about myself, not about anyone else specifically or anything, but, you know, I, I see a lot of consumption of social media and what good is that doing the world? You know, social media is almost like this fallacy that we are uh, doing something of importance, right? Because we're, you know, we're typing behind the keyboard, all of the humans in the world, we all want our opinions to be heard, right? and we want to be valued. But I argue that we could be spending our time a little bit better. And I see, you know, I see people that are even in the community that are retired. And a lot of them, I used to do this too. Um, but so I'll just speak for myself where say if I didn't agree with something or if someone doesn't like a video, okay, now they're spending their time commenting on what they don't like instead of doing the opposite, which is providing some sort of solution or some sort of constructive criticism or something of value, right? I would argue to everyone that if you see something that you don't like, right? For example, Richard had a stream today. A lot of people have never seen Richard Hart's true character and his non-centered character. And so many, so many people just crawl out the woodworks to just get offended. And people choose whether or not they want to be offended. And, and then, you know, even if you're so offended now, it's like, what do you do with that? You know, do you just, as someone said, this is what inspired it. So as someone in my comments said, Hey, you know, if, if someone had common sense and they didn't like it, they would just like say if it's back in the day, right? Say if you're watching television and you don't like whatever MTV is on, cause you know, you're, you don't like the, the information that's being covered there. Well, guess what? Click, you know, you, you change the channel, right? You know, click, change the channel. And so I would argue that a lot more people, and once again, this is a lesson for myself. This is a lesson for a lot of the new people that are in the hex community and pulse chain community that just get so sensitive and want to, uh, you know, feel offended about everything. But I would, I would, uh, you know, I would ask people to think, you know, what are you going to do when you have all of the time back in the world? Because for me, it's allowed me. So since I retired, I never stopped working. I've actually been working harder and have been more productive than ever. But I've also been consuming more, right? I've been consuming more social media and some more content. And I ask myself, like, you know, luckily when I'm doing it, not to say that I'm perfect, but luckily when I'm doing it, a lot of the times I'm listening to other information in the background, things like this. But, you know, I see people get so emotional, so passionate, so fired up over, uh, over controversy or over things that they don't like. And what good is it doing the world by putting your opinion out there that you're offended or just your opinion in general? Like, 
Hey, it, it's once again, it's, it's wonderful that we have the technology to comment and things like this. But I just think about sometimes the, uh, the time that people spend, um, you know, not doing anything productive and instead they're just consuming. And then especially if they get with content that they don't like or someone that they don't like, and then they start spending more time on that person's channel, whether it be attacking them, whether it be, you know, criticizing comments. I think like, man, what a, what a waste of potential that is. And I know Richard Hart had talked about when he was a video gamer for over 10 years that he was, you know, he was really, uh, you know, I guess depressed and really sad that all of the time that he had spent video gaming, uh, because it's very addictive, the way that it fires your neurons and your dopamine and whatnot is almost like a hard drug, right? And so he was very sad that like, man, I wasted 10 years of my life doing nothing. And I thought I was doing something, right? Because you get these artificial achievements or whether it be people that are commenting on other people's channels, I'm not saying mine, but just other people's channels, you know, you feel like you're accomplishing something and it's almost like a fallacy. It's a false sense, it's a false sense of accomplishment because you're getting people that are responding to you. You feel like you're contributing, but I would argue that most people don't need to be doing that. And especially once again, if it's something that you don't agree with, you're, you're getting offended, you're getting, you know, all your feelings hurt. I would argue and I would suggest that instead of engaging with the thing that you dislike and that you don't like, just to turn the page to block or unsubscribe, right, to that person's channel and to, to go about your life. Uh, because what we see sometimes is a like a negative feedback loop. And I've learned this in my channel not to give the attention trolls or sorry, <laughs> I've learned in my YouTube channel not to give the uh, trolls attention, right? Because that's exactly what they're seeking. That's exactly what they want is the acknowledgement. And so I just think about, man, how many people are behind the computer feeling passionate or the people that are retired that are on social media all day? You know, how many of us, because I've been in this camp my, uh, too, myself included, could be spending our time, you know, doing something productive or honing whatever we are good at instead of just consuming, consuming, consuming. And so I want to challenge people to, uh, to ask yourself like, Hey, if you didn't have to work for the rest of your life for someone else and you had your finances covered, what would you be doing? Uh, because the time in life really is finite and it really is precious and valuable. And, you know, to, to take advantage of that and to waste that is a tragedy. But a lot of times it's something that people aren't noticing what they're doing, right? They're just mindlessly commenting and mindlessly getting offended on people's channels instead of just changing the channel. And it's like, man, how, you know, there's so many problems that we all face as humans. And there's so many things that are coming to kill us or societal problems. And it's like, I just, I just asked myself, like, man, how, how much more quickly could these major problems be solved or be worked on if instead we stopped getting offended, if instead we stopped spending so much time commenting on our own YouTube channels, on other people's videos, and instead started working towards something that we were good at or contributing towards something that could, could actually solve some of the, the bigger problems, right? Versus you know, once again, that fallacy that you're doing something, but you're just, you're contributing in like a very, very small way on someone else's YouTube channel or getting offended. And now you feel that you've done something right because you're getting attention from the, uh, the offended feelings that you have because someone else is validating that. So that's all I really have. These are thoughts that I've had once again with myself, where when I retired, I was, uh, I was spending a lot of time uh, consuming other hexakin and pulsakin content, but it was almost at my own expense where that's the only thing that I was doing. And, you know, you, you have someone's uh, stream up here that I want to support and help not only financially, but also with my time moderating. And then I just go to think about it like, man, what am I doing? You know, I love this community. I love engaging, but 
what good is it saying hi to 30 different people in the chat 30 different times, you know, feeling some sort of false sense of contribution when in reality I could just listen to it in the background like I normally do. But instead of just engaging that one thing, I could be doing something else and in bettering myself, whether it be, you know, lifting some of the weights down there or whether it be uh, working towards maybe a secondary project. So that's just something I want to challenge people towards. Uh, today, I talked about that $100 became a million and $1,000 became 10 million with the hex.com 10,000 X that we've seen already. And that's in under two years. That's an under a time span uh, of less than two years. And so a lot of people, they, they don't ask themselves these questions until it's too late, right? They don't, they don't ever consider that they're going to be the one that has this success and that has these gains until it's too late and until they're feeling the sudden wealth syndrome uh, effects. And so I would just challenge people to, you know, get, get your notebook out. Like we've got right here, you know, get your notebook out and, uh, and just write down like the power of writing things down, whether it be goals, whether it be things that you want to work on. Uh, there's, there's definitely a lot of power to it and it allows you to introspect in life a lot more. If you, if you have it written down in history, right? I can go back and let me just make sure that nothing here is. So anyways, I'm not going to, I'm not going to share the other side, but I mean, I can go back and, and see what I've written down on November 7th and I can, I can document you can do it digitally, but for me, sometimes there's just something different about analog things that work a lot better than digital ever could when it comes to being productive. Uh, so there's things that I could write down saying like, what, and I like to do this now, but like, I'll write a goal, like a general goal for the day, which is like, what have I achieved today? Right. <laughs> and, and if, if the response is, is nothing, right. If the response is just okay, I've consumed a lot of information and content of other people, or I've contributed to people's chats, then it's like, man, maybe that isn't a good use of my time. And what a, what a shame it would be. Like the, the, part, the part of the thing that I think about is, is similar to Richard Hart with the gaming, right? What a shame it is that someone with the literal mental level IQ and someone that retired at 24 just as well, just like me, uh, is is now spending their time, you know, just kind of con consuming uh, a video games and, and feeling the dopamine effects, but it, it's not affecting the world and it's not changing the world in any positive way, right? It's contributing to a lot of the problems that we still have, and it's not, you know, it's it's not helping to alleviate some of those things. So it's almost like a selfish duty where it's like, man, you know, if if all of us have these skills. And we've got individual things that we are good at, but we choose not to capitalize and we choose not to hone and we choose not to better those skills. And instead we choose something else, right? Leisure or consumption or things like this. Then aren't we also contributing to the problem that we, you know, that we know exists? So the answer to me is yes, right? The answer to me is okay. You know, I can be spending my time differently. Uh, I can be doing things that scale more instead of just a one on one. I've mentioned this with my YouTube channel that instead of responding to individual comments, that only helps one person. And that's why I stopped responding to direct messages. You know, the certain people that I have responded to consistently now have my phone number. But it's because the, you know, the scale itself has gotten to such a level that yeah, now if I tried to respond to everyone one-on-one, -on -one, it would literally be a full-time job. And so Richard talks about that too, like what is better for the world and what is better for his goals, right? Is it, is it better to respond? For, for me, it's over 200 messages. For Richard, he mentioned it's over like 2,000. But is it better for me to respond to each individual message on top of doing all of the streams, uh, contributing to people's streams, helping moderate, uh, is it better to do that or is it better to just let people find the information themselves? I find that a lot of the questions sometimes, not all, but a lot of the questions sometimes 
they're almost, you know, wanting me to do the work or, or wanting me to, you know, hold their hand. And it's like, man, I, I can lead the horse to the water, but I can't force it to drink, you know? And if someone's ambition and someone's uh, drive of curiosity is so great, then if they want the answer, they can find the answer themselves, just like I did, right? Just like I learned with cryptocurrency. And, and I find some of the people in my life, they say, Hey, Brand, I'm interested in hacks. I'm interested in this, but, but you know, I, I need all of your help, and and I want you to walk me through it step by step. Or, you know, maybe some of them don't even come from that kind of frame, but instead they would just rather the work be done and no learning on their part be done. And it's like, well, you know, then then you're not really helping anyone, right? Are you are you giving a person a fish, or are you teaching them how to fish? Right, because one of them is enabling bad behavior, and it's it's you know it's it's almost asking for a beggar, right? It's enabling bad behavior for that to continue. Or are you teaching someone, hey, you know, here's here's I've got this big tote of of fish, and here's how you can fish too, versus me just giving you one of the fish. You know, there's there's a an ocean right out here full of fish, and I see people crabbing right now, but what good is it if someone just gives me the crab versus teaching me their techniques, right? Cause they're the ones that put in the time to learn those skills and to, to do that work as well. It didn't just come overnight for them. Right? So that's really all I have. I just want to challenge people. And as this video gets longer, I'm going to end it, but I just want to challenge people. What are you going to do with your time when you have all of the time in the world? Uh, because I found myself sometimes, abusing that uh, amazing, amazing opportunity as a 25 year old now. And I think, man, okay, you know, the, the lesson has been learned that now I can start focusing on more productive things. And if I, you know, being the change you want to see, if, if you see that there's problems in the world and that nothing is being done to solve them and, and I'm just consuming YouTube videos and, you know, on people's live streams the whole time, as far as chats go, bantering back and forth. Well, then I'm also contributing to those problems by not doing anything to solve those problems as well. So that's all I have. Everyone have a uh, great day, great night, great evening, wherever you're watching in from, great afternoon. And uh, I thank everyone for tuning in on this channel, for uh, giving me your support, right? Uh, every single day is a constant every single day is a constant journey. Whoops. <laughs> uh, it's a constant journey. And, uh, you know, the more that I find out myself documenting what I want for the day, what I want for the, the next day, the next week, you know, not having my mind constantly stuck in the future, but thinking about it enough to write the goals down and to kind of shift some of the attention and some of the focus. And then, you know, slowly but surely you tend to chip at it, right? A, a sculpture of say like a marble statue doesn't just happen with, with one knock with the hammer and the chisel, right? It happens over multiple different knocks and multiple different honing and, and fine tuning of the actual sculpture itself. And so part of us just need to work a little bit on those things that, uh, that grow and that allow us to do things that are more important than just consuming all day. So that's all I have for everyone. Thanks again for watching this video. I appreciate all the support on the YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to be better about being more consistent. But once again, there are things that I make, not just to make videos, but things that I think that people can benefit from, things that I've thought about for many, many years and in hours on, and uh, and also some solutions that we can, we can also work towards. Because what good is... <clears throat> what good is just complaining or addressing that a problem is there if we don't come up with the solution. So that's all I have for everyone. Thank you. And I'll see you.